Hey y'all, this is Mark Latcha, Senior Support Engineer at Listen. Today we're going to look at how to save some data to Microsoft Office. To save to Office, there's two different steps you can use, print or autosave. First, we're going to look at printing. When I open it up, in the top right, you can see the select print type is Word. We then have a couple of options. We can just open the report, print it, which would be out of a printer, or save it to a file. I'm going to leave it on open report and run the test. Printing is usually the best option when all you want is an easy to read report. All of the displays that you've already configured in Soundcheck just get copied over into Word or Excel. Now when we get to the end of the sequence, this step is displayed and every graph that's on it will be copied over into Word. There's also some different information we could add, the operator, the time, lot number, and serial number. Another really convenient thing is to add in a template. What we could do is define a template beforehand, and then when we point to that file, it will configure our document however we configured our template. We have some information in the manual and videos that go over creating different templates. I'll link those at the end of the video, so if you're trying to do this yourself, I'd recommend following along with those. We also include a couple of report templates. In your Soundcheck folder, under Report Templates, we include Word and Excel templates for self-test. I'll choose one of them now, click Apply, and when I go over to Word, you can see it changed how the data is displayed. In this template, we specified that it was landscape, gave each of our graphs a title, and put all of the test information up in the top. Instead of using Word, we could use Excel. I'll switch from this Word directory to the Excel directory and point to the template here. The big difference is we have data, image, or both in Excel, where we could only save images in Word. I open up the report, and the displays look very similar, but now you can see that everything that was displayed on that step will have its own tab with its data created in the bottom. Now I'll quickly switch over to an autosave step instead of a print step. One of the main differences here is that no images are saved directly. So this is independent of a display step. Remember with printing, we always want to put it directly after a display, but with autosave, we don't need a display. Anything in the memory list, even if it's not displayed, we can select up here in the top. It's also not possible to just open the report or print it. It's always saved to disk. I saved this in my data directory, so let's go take a look. What you can see here is pretty similar to when we saved it with the print step. Every piece of data we selected will have its own tab with its name on it. The autosave step is much more flexible. You don't need to set up a display and sound check to use it, but you can create a template that's very, very robust. Here's an example of a report you could create with an autosave step using a template. All of these charts and graphs are being drawn in Excel itself. We're using the template to look at different tabs to create these charts. If you look at this past result, you can see we're actually referencing a completely different tab. If we go over here, you can see the result was a pass. We're referencing that on our main chart. This is just one example of all the powerful things you can do with an autosave step. Thanks for watching. For further development, please look at these documents and videos. Thanks again.